Howdy. I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and today we're going to be talking about Parallax Effects and Illusions. Yes, we got a request to make this cool effect, and it took a while, but we figured it out. And now we're going to bring it to you in this guide. How do we do all of these cool things? Look at that. And yes, you don't have to do HD. I'm just using HD as an example. I know you don't like the HDs in Minecraft. But I do. So, here we go. Let's jump over to Bilk Bins, Blocky Bins, Blocky Bins. Okay, how do we do this? How does this even work? Is what we get the question today. And it's pretty simple. So, we've got a far layer, a middle layer, and then a close layer. And then a closer layer. And that's it. So we got some layers. And then I added some smoke. Uh, the smoke is literally just a bone moving across the screen, doing some fancy things. Each of the bones is, has a different material, so you could have, you know, that be blend and the other stuff be alpha. And there's some rules when you do this, like. The blends can't overlap the alpha, so the smoke are all on their own plane. So if you look at when they go across the screen, they're all at a different um, depth. So some smoke's up here at minus one, some's at minus five, and so on, because they can't overlap. You can't have blend and um, blend and alphas overlap, or they create this weird effect. <clears throat> Excuse me, so here you go. We've got ourselves this block bench. Now, there's a few things we'll talk about really quick on how you do this guy. So, the, uh, the effect that we're doing, you need to leave some space on the edges. So... Um, for example, to make this look like it's not moving, it's all the same color. And then there's space on the edges that <clears throat> the UV can move and animate. Uh, same thing with these. So you can see there's some space on the edge that as you look, it can move to the sides. You don't want to go right up to the edges. So you just have to plan that out when you're making your stuff. And then that's pretty much it. It's just a bedrock entity. Okay, now let's jump into bridge and jump into the code. So I call this hologram, but it's really a parallax effect. So here's the portal. Um, I have it spawning stuff when you get nearby, so it has that effect of infecting the, the Minecraft world. The HD world's infecting Minecraft through this portal, right? Um, but you don't need to do any of that. I mean, you can set all this up however you want. I'm just using an entity sensor that says, hey, when the player's nearby, spawn randomly something. Okay. And then let's check the uh, render controller. So nothing big here. I'm using a different material per bone so that I can do the alpha and the blend all in the same image. Uh, just one geo, one texture. Um, render controller and then the animations doing the rain and the smoke all the time. The rain could be put on when it rains in the game but the in-game rain overtakes everything. Okay, so the real magic happens in the render controller. Render controllers are really powerful but most people are scared of them and have no concept of what they can do so I'll show you a few different things right here. Right off the bat you can see I'm using a light multiplier to get it to where it has that really nice bright glow to it. This 
uh, at one is normal. Under one absorbs light, so it could get it'll get darker and blacker and actually absorb the light. Above one adds light and multiplies the light. Ignore light means don't um, use the ambient lighting to change the texture. So that's why it's so bright even though it's night out. If I turn this to false, then it would be pretty dark even with this being so high. Here's where the magic comes in. We use this UV anime. This is animating <clears throat> the UV, but what we're not doing is we're not actually animating it. All we're doing is keeping it at a smaller size than it normally would be. So it, you'll have to change this for your texture to make it fit, but you want it to be under one. And then it's using this uh, 0 .005 and then this math to, to do the parallax effect. We're just slightly moving the UV left and right just a smidgen to give that effect. And this is sim the, simply the math. So I'm using a, a sign. I don't, <clears throat> this is probably not the right approach, uh, but it works for me. I think this is what's causing the fence in the middle to move really fast because it's a curve. So you can mess with this and change it. But the real secret is the rotate to camera. Um, the slash 20 here is to make it less or more sensitive. The one is to pick which uh, rotation X or Y. Um, the 0.25 is how much uh, offset are you going to do. So the lower the offset, the more movement, the higher the offset, the less movement. One being the full image, 0.25 being one fourth of the image. So you can move uh, one fourth of the distance is how much you have here. So scale is scaling it, offset is moving it, just like you use the offset in particles or anything else. And then that's it. That's all it takes. You put it all together, and then you get this effect. Sorry, my worms plant those on stuff. And then I added in all of the other stuff. You can see how pretty the... Uh, oh, one more thing. I'm also using... Um, a effect most people don't know that you can <clears throat> so this is what it normally look like so this is your normal FOV right and then I have barrier blocks here so if I'm doing um, this and I'm standing in the image because <clears throat> I could actually get you know in the image if you make this a bigger, there's no reason you can't make this much bigger um, and do more with it. I mean, you could stage, make a whole stage presence. My worms put these, the worms and caterpillars put those down. So, sorry, they just keep, they'll just keep doing it. They eat them and put them down as they live. Okay, so I can get into my picture. And then see how tight it is though, because it's so big, it doesn't feel good. So what you can do is you can say uh, speed for 10,000 seconds at 10, <clears throat> and that changes the FOV. So now I've got this really nice, oh, sorry, and you put true, and it'll take away the effect. So now I've got this really nice ability to show off the effect and to watch the clouds and the smoke and everything go by. But that's really what we're doing. It's simply just a normal texture like you'd normally do. It's just that effect. And you could try other queries. There are other queries that worked. That was just the one that worked best for me, but there's quite a few others. There are some issues with it. If you go to the extremes, like you can see it starts to stretch there because there wasn't enough space and it goes into transparency. Um, you can also see that I have it situated in this orientation. Uh, I was having problems getting the, let's get out of the box. So if I do it like this, um, I was having some problems getting the camera rotation to line up how I wanted. And so that is one of the things that needs work on the math is you can see in some rotations, it doesn't, it doesn't like, it doesn't like that very well. So I think that sign and the, the curve just need to be manipulated some, but I'm not the math expert and I ran out of time to, to do it. So I wanted to get this guide out and at least give you feedback on how, how we do it, how the math works. 
Um, thanks for bringing it up as a request. If you guys have other requests of cool things you've seen, maybe in Marketplace or in other places, and you don't know how it's done or you'd like to see how it's done, um, come hit us up in the Block Bench Discord. If you'd like to see other guides, I mean, I probably have 50 guides out there. If you'd like more guides, I definitely could use some financial help from a studio or sponsor. We're, you know, it's typically taking four to 16 hours a day to support the community we had more than 6,000 people join last month just in the block bench discord and a lot of them need help so if we could get some help and support or sponsorships that would be awesome you could hit up our patreon uh, we still don't have any patreon supporters we've had it up for probably a year but we could definitely use some more there or tips in any other way so thank you very much i hope these guides help it takes uh, many days and lots and lots of hours to figure out this stuff and make it and get it together and test it so please help us out if you can you rock have a good afternoon i'm cyberax with outlandishly crafted and this has been a guide on parallax and this nifty effect we can do. Have a good afternoon.